it, it was such a chance, you know, like sometimes you land up at the right place at the right time and I think that's what happened here. I was in Goa for a conference which used to happen on the beach back in the days. And I know in back of my head that, hey, you know, I have to find a property because the idea of Beach House Project was just lurking somewhere. I Google Heritage Villas in Goa. And the first thing that I find is an article where somebody had put down eight Heritage Villas of Goa that you need to stay at. I opened that link and the second place was this 100-year-old Portuguese bungalow called Vivenda dos Palicos. I pick up the phone and I call here. Charlotte comes on the phone and I'm like, I want to do a residency in Goa and I want to bring creatives, entrepreneurs, filmmakers, photographers together. We're going to have conversations, we're going to, we're going to help each other grow, but we're going to do it in style. And I don't know what, what happened and Charlotte was like, why don't you come visit us? I walk into this space and before even meeting Charlotte, I was like, this is it. Beach House is still like an idea, still like a pigment of imagination, but this place is it. I mean, yes, I found a villa, but I think I found her that day, and that was magical. And she was like, tell me, wonderful Jay, what's your idea? This country has long needed something like this. I think it's a fucking creative cocktail, and that's just the word that keeps coming to me. It's a creative cocktail. You're going to get crazy drunk on this creative cocktail. That's what it is for me. This is a madhouse for creatives. I don't know what this space was a hundred years back. I don't know what people were doing here, what they were sitting here, where they're looking out into the nature, where they're having conversations and smoking cigarettes. But I know for sure that they exchange similar energies that we still feel here when we come here. And I think that's brilliant. I suddenly see how a space can just open up magic. Not just a space, but also the person who's hosting that space. The story behind it, the why of the space, it can make such a big difference. If you like, this is the transitional phase. Wow. And I love it when different people get together like what you do that whole time, you know. What did Maya Angelou say? Yeah. We're all the same, but we're all different. We're all different, but we're all the same. Yeah. In the run of the mill of everyday life, you don't often get the opportunity to connect with people at such a deep level. It takes a long time. Because life is so fast. So most of you know, we make very intense relationships, which doesn't happen often in life and take whatever we create out of it. But then life comes back. Every single time that I've run into stories, intersected with people, met these guys, become part of their journeys, one thing that I've realized is that I have evolved as a person because I'm collecting so many stories. Full circle to me implies some kind of completion. It's not. I feel it's more of a spiral, more of a we'll meet again. I don't wanna blame. You know that lovely Japanese brush stroke of a full circle? A perfect circle. There's perfection, but it's like open. It's like it's not closed. It's it's been incredible. Every time we come here, we feel we feel it's like a revolution around the sun. You do whatever you want, but you come back home. <laughs>